Hi there, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving. This is Patrick Schwer from the Schwer Group and Remax Evolution. Uh, I wanted to send this video along with this email that uh, discusses real estate trends in Orange County in specific cities. Feel free to actually click on the links for each image. You'll be able to download recent in the last year sale trends for let's say Corona Del Mar, Orange, uh, San Clemente, Newport Beach, Aliso Viejo, any of the cities you want to see. With respect to understanding the microclimates within a specific community, let's say the Glenwood community or anywhere in Newport Beach, definitely give me a call and I'd be happy to, to streamline that search for you and kind of show you what is active, what is sold over the last three to six months. So regarding real estate trends, if you have any questions, let me know. I've also included the latest real estate rates, so you can also look at that as well. And so if you have any questions on that, or if I need to get you in touch with a lender, if you're looking to do a refi, HELOC, or even just look to buy for a new home or investment property, I'd be happy to help you there. So the reason why I'm talking today is one of my main duties, I think, as a real estate agent is to continue my education and make sure what I learn, I process and get out forwards to my clients, whether you're a home buyer, a seller, or an investor. And hopefully we, hopefully we can work together pretty soon. But that being said, the last class I went to, which is about two weeks ago, well, had to do with probate. And probate, what it costs, which is very expensive, and then how you can evade or get away from these, talk, these costs by properly setting up your legal documents ahead of time to make sure that there's no issues. And should, God forbid, something happen to you or your spouse, the property and the money you have goes to the right people and doesn't get eaten alive or taken away from the city, the county, or the, or the government. So uh, in the probate class I took, there are a couple items I wanted to mention to you. First off, how do you take title to your current property? Title, you can have title as a revocable living trust. You can have title as community property, uh, joint tenancy, tenants in common. You can do it a bunch of different ways. Now the question is, you have to know right of survivorship as well. So you wanna know exactly what's gonna happen, God forbid you get hurt, or maybe both you and your spouse get hurt. So if you don't hold the property in proper title, that could affect what happens. Secondly, aside from title, is a will. Do you currently have a will set up? Uh, some people may, a lot of people don't question is it is it current and it does it need to be updated etc again these items are not very expensive but something you want to make sure of and when in doing this basically you're giving a gift to your family since it's the holidays give a gift to your family a sense of security and peace of mind should they have to actually deal with this type of situation which is definitely not always pleasant uh, third is power of attorney. So a power of attorney, should you need to make decisions for your spouse? Sometimes you may need, you may not have that uh, power to do that without both of your signatures. So if you need power of attorney, make sure again, you can get this set up. And again, you can go to a lawyer and get the title, the will, the power of attorney. And also the last item I wanna talk about is a healthcare directive. And a healthcare directive, I recently just experienced this where I had a sister in the hospital. I called up to talk to her. They couldn't even tell me whether she was in the hospital. And then of course, trying to find out what was wrong and how she was doing, there's very little information they're willing to give you because of HIPAA, HIPAA restrictions and regulations. So that being said, prepare yourself and take care of your family at the same time. Work in making sure that your title is set up for your, any of your properties. Make sure that you have a will power of attorney and a healthcare directive. There's a lot of other options and, and items that need to be looked at when you do own property and have investments. So make sure that you're taking care of these correctly for your heirs and your family and the rest of your family and your children. So that being said, I hope you guys give me a shout if you have any questions. I am a real estate broker. Uh, I am not, again, a lawyer or a tax guy. So I can refer you to people who can help you with these items. Again, I wouldn't do this specifically for you. I would help you buy or sell a home. But feel, feel free to give me a call and I'd be happy to 
kind of put you in the right direction or get you in touch with somebody who I think can help you very efficiently. Again, this is Patrick Schwer. Happy Thanksgiving, and you can reach me directly at 714-401-0893. Thank you very much.